Dear Grandpa, I miss you. It almost hurts for me to write those words because it makes it final. It makes your death real, intangible, and painful. It's like every period at the end of each sentence I write reminds me that you're gone forever. That I have to deal with not seeing your cerulean eyes or the creased wrinkles in your forehead when you smile. Mom hasn't been the same since you left. Her eyes are an abyss that I frequently get lost in, and the corners of her lips are smooth, where laughing lines used to exist. It's almost as if the explosion took a part of her too. I miss you. I miss you the most on March 9th, the day when the walls of the mine collapsed on your fragile body. I wish dad didn't go underground every day, but only because mom jumps every time the phone rings. I know he's safe now. I think you'd be so proud of how far mining has come, grandpa, of how many lives it changed. You'd be proud of the fact that mining saved my life, even if it took away yours. The brain aneurysm exploded in my head two months ago and I finally got released from the hospital, but I'm still not clear to go to school because I'm stuck in my blank room at home with white walls and the bitter smell of antispetic invading my every breath. But I'm grateful that my dad goes to the mines every day. Mom stopped working and the money is all that keeps us afloat. Mining produces the lead, phosphorus, and indium in the television screen I'm fixated to every day. It procures the zinc in my medical ambulance, the stainless steel in the doctor's surgical instruments, and the coal in my room's lights. I miss you, Grandpa, but I know that while you died with a pickaxe in your hand and a flashlight strapped to your head, many others don't have to. The innovations to your profession will make you so proud, Grandpa. You're everywhere now. Today, mining in Ontario is a multi-million dollar industry known around the world for its safety and environmental leadership, efficiency, productivity, and innovation. Members produce and process mineral resources that are the building blocks of everything from kitchen sinks to computer disks, hybrid cars, rechargeable batteries, and beyond, where human ingenuity and aspiration for a greener future have yet to take us. It's not just about what and how much we mine, Grandpa, but about the guiding values. Members are prioritizing the health and safety of their employees by contributing to the development and enhancement of local economies and investing in the future by supporting human capital, education, research, and development. You're in the lights I'm using to write this letter, Grandpa. The x-ray machine I used the past couple of months, the staunch smell of medicine and everything I own. Thank you, Grandpa, for living, for bringing joy to so many lives. Mining matters, Grandpa. You matter.